Hi, my name is Steve Lieben. Hello, I'm Jack Suhiri. I'm John Streeter. My name is Jordan Singer. I'm Fran Wickstrom. My name is Melissa Swain. Um, my name is Pamela Robinson. And I'm Jason Robinson. The process of leading institutional change is a hard one. Legal educators and lawyers and judges uh, need to find ways uh, to um, get on the same page about this issue. Law schools need to um, create a better value for law students, number one. And number two, um, law schools need to create a better product for the legal marketplace. One of the most pressing issues uh, that we identified was this problem of young lawyer readiness, particularly in today's environment where technology is changing the way in which law is practiced. We need to teach them um, certain foundations. They need to have um, a platform, let's call it, um, of skills that they can take with them into practice. I think that the value that IELTS brings to this conversation is that they really are taking a leadership role in the movement of legal education reform. The good news in what we're doing is that change is already being brought about. And it's being brought about by conversations such as that that's uh, led uh, by educating tomorrow's lawyers. IELTS is making a difference. We have a very good civil justice system, but we also know it can be better. And so we don't stop there, we want to improve it. Society would break down if we didn't have a highly structured, rule-based method for resolving disputes. when they did a follow-up of the audit, that in fact we had cut our time in half uh, from when a case uh, first got attention to what it did now. And of course, that's time that we saved and are able to expedite the handling of the case. I think it does make civil litigation more cost-effective. Word is getting out that Isles is the point person for those of us who believe in the system and want to improve the system. Isles is really making a difference. To have a quality judge and to put quality judges on the bench means to have uh, people who are on the bench that uh, when someone walks into the courtroom they'll say here's someone who is dignified, impartial, fair, and interested in the, the proper and fair resolution for whatever dispute I have. It's impossible for the average citizen to know what I'm doing without some help. People said sometimes they voted randomly, but if you use JPE, and especially if you put it in a voter guide, and they've got two paragraphs on each judge that they can read ahead of time and make their own informed decision, boy, what a difference that makes. The evaluation is designed to be available to the public and to answer basic questions about my performance.
I don't think anybody can improve the whole system comprehensively at any given time. What IELTS has done that's so great is to pick discrete projects where real advances can be made and then providing a product that is understandable to the target audience. IELTS is making a difference every day. Instantly, it feels like the process is going to be daunting, especially if you're going to do it yourself. And I said to myself, how does somebody even do this without a lawyer? And we realized that we could do this very economically, mm -hmm. um, and then also have a place where our kids could come um, and talk to other kids that are going through a divorce. The center in what IELTS has put together took away a lot of the dark and gray and coldness of it, and it gave us a resource and a place to go to get things worked out in the most peaceful, uh, collaborative manner that we could have. IELTS is making a difference. Ultimately, the system is what we're here to help preserve and improve. That's what IELTS does. IELTS is fiercely nonpartisan. Bringing together the stakeholders to have the conversation. IELTS does that better than any organization that I've ever been a part of. We couldn't have done it without IELTS. There's no doubt in my mind that IELTS is making a difference everywhere in the country.